Hi guys! I just thought I would show you how to download and install your brushes directly on your iPad. The description that I put in the PDF file with the, your purchase describes how to do it on your computer, which is also a totally awesome way to do it. But if you want to do it directly on the iPad, the process is a little bit more confusing, so a video is due, I think. Um, right here, I bought my own brushes, so I can show you how it looks when you buy it. Um, this is an old purchase, so that's why there will probably, <laughs> probably be more on your purchase, including this uh, video. So here you can see the PDF file and the brush set. What you probably experience when you try to open the brush set is that you're taking to this menu and you can open it. And then absolutely nothing happens. I think it's a bit stupid that it's made like this. Um, but let's just press OK and we'll try another trick. So what you do is you take your finger and you hold it down over the brush set. And now you're taken into this menu. And I'm sorry that it's in Danish, but I'll translate. It says open, add to reading list, copy and share. You want to hit share. Now you're taken to this little menu right here. And here you can choose to save it in your Dropbox, which is my go-to. Um, and then something weird happens. It transfers the file name into this very, very long, weird name, which makes it a little bit difficult to find when you're looking for it. But fret not, it is still the same brushes that you're trying to save. Now, I always save these, uh, these kind of uh, fun things in my stuff uh, file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again, but you can't really uh, send it before you press in an email. And I'm just going to choose my own right here. And then I'm going to hit Publicate or Publish, sorry. And now it's sharing the file. What I can do now is I can go into my little desktop here and I can find my Dropbox. I'm sorry, this is an old file. And... In mere moments, it should appear up here. We can just try to go back and go in again. There it is. You can see this is an old file that I tried to download in this way. This is the new one I just saved. Pops up with this long name. And you're like, are these my brushes? They are. If you press it, now you're taken to a new window. And this time something happens. Right here it says open in Procreate which is exactly what we want to do. And here you can see it appears at the top. So that means that it was successfully imported and everything is as it should be. And now you can go ahead and use the brushes. So I really hope that this helps. It's a little bit complicated with the long file name and everything, but uh, it works.